Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Following the conclusion of the February 25th and March 18th presidential and governorship national and state house of assembly elections, the incumbent governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, has sent his congratulatory message to the president-elect Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC. Governors-elect and lawmakers around the Federation. The Anambra governor sent his message on Tuesday, March the 21st, via a post on his official Facebook timeline saying, let me also congratulate the president-elect, Asiwajubola Ahmed Tinobu, for his election. We pledge to collaborate and partner with you and the federal government for the development of Anambra State and Nigeria. I'm going to read Press statement at the conclusion of the 2023 general elections in Nigeria. Chukuma Charles Soludo, Governor Anambra State, National Leader. The 2023 general elections in Nigeria have come and gone. Elections in Anambra were generally peaceful and I commend all the participants. The security agencies, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the citizens. While we commend INEC for the successful completion of the general elections, it is important to note that we must seriously continue to reform and strengthen our electoral processes and citizens' political participation as we march towards a more perfect system. To me, the true heroes of the last elections are the citizens of Nigeria, especially the youths whose voices will continue to be critical as we collectively strive to build a new Nigeria. Nigeria is the winner, and I am confident that a better future lies ahead of us. Congratulations to all Nigerians. Let me also congratulate the president-elect, Asiwajubola Ahmed Tinubu, for his election. We congratulate your closest opponents for their courageous and impressive outings. Nigeria needs healing and restructuring and the fundamental to our newly elected colleague, colleagues, governors elect, we say a big congratulation to let us work together. He continued, in this regard, May I repeat my previous calls and hereby request our president-elect to release Mazi Namdekano immediately after swearing in. That is, if he is not released before then. We need him around the table as an important stakeholder in discussions about healing and sustainable peace in the Southeast. To our newly elected governors, or colleagues, governors elect, we say a big congratulations. Let us work together, especially under the auspices of the Nigerian Governors Forum. In pursuit of national common goal, we also congratulate the elected members of the national and state assemblies. We also thank millions of Nigerians who voted for candidates of the All Progressive Grand Alliance across the entire country. We have made modest gains by winning seats at the Senate, House of Representatives, and state assemblies across the country. As we reform and strengthen our party, we will continue to present our social progressive agenda as the roadmap for the country. As true believers in the potentials of Nigeria, our party will continue to network and collaborate with all like-minded Nigerians and groups to advance the greatness of this country. 
He concluded, I hereby extend my hands of fellowship to the elected members of the state and national assemblies from other political parties in Anambra states. Let us work together for the greatness of our dear states. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular um, uh, letter written by the governor of Anambra state? Well, like he rightly said, the nation needs restructuring and healing at this particular point in time. And he has called for the release of the Mazin Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. It remains to be seen if his uh, call for the release of Namdekano will yield any um, result. Don't forget that Namdekano's release has been an issue on the, of debate from different quarters and a lot of people have actually spoken and has called for the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra even before now. But however, the government of the APC led by President Muhammad Buhari has turned deaf ears to this particular plea and request. However, now that um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has become the president-elect, it is expected that he would take a particular stand or take a decision on this when he assumes office. That is, if Namdekano is not released before then. It is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this? Do you think that um, mm. Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, the governor of Anambra State, is using this particular call to familiarize or to endear himself into the hearts of Ndigos? as it were, haven't come out publicly uh, to write up the candidature or candidacy of uh, his fellow uh, brother or his brother, Peter Obi Drink, he just concluded a presidential election. It is what it is, guys. There are so many twists to this particular narrative, if you'd ask me. But however, you know, people are expected to um, have perspectives. People are expected to think what they uh, feel or believe they understand or the perspective that is best for them. But however, regardless of what you feel, think, and what perspective you are actually taking, what is most important is that let truth, peace, guide your thinking and your thoughts. Well, it is what it is. Drop by at the comment section, guys. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. I said, where? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are here to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.